Okay, guys. Now that I have this fender, or not the fender, I'm sorry, the door adjusted to where it needs to be, everything else can be fitted up here. So I'm now going to install the, the fender and show how easy that is to basically adjust and align. So my wife's going to hold the camera. Yeah, I'm trying to keep your fingers out of there. So, we'll close the door, and we're hitting a little bit there, which I am anticipating because we've got to take something off there. So what I'll do now is I will shut the hood and see where we're at, and I can already see it's going to hit there, and that's fine. What I'll do is I'll pull this out right about there. Let me open up this door here. So, right here, we're nice and flat on this. There's a screw that goes in here. So, when this goes to final assembly, this will be pushed up here. This will be nice and flat. Plus, we can use some uh, filler to get this transition nice. Now this area right here is sticking down is going to have to be dollied up a little bit because if I pull the, try to pull this up to get it up here, it's going to be high here. So this area is low is going to have to be pulled up. So so now we're good there. So let me go ahead and open this up here. Again, let's see where I'm at on my adjustment. Looks like I'm pretty good on my adjustment. So this gap looks good. It is a little bit wide. I am going to try to slide this hood this way a little bit. <clears throat> and we'll go right here. Like I said, I can push this one up here like that, put that screw through nice and flush. This area here is going to have to be dollied up a little bit, which isn't really that big of a deal. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bolt and go down here and put this bolt down here. See. No, that's all right. You don't have to see. I'm a little things fall out. Sometimes.
Yeah, at the same time that I am doing that, I'm also adjusting it. So I'll get my 13 millimeter and go back under there. <clears throat> Now I also got it lined up here with the rocker. This area right down here where the fender comes down and goes under is going to have to be dollied out. That's not going to be that big of an issue. It should just take a few minutes. But now we're flush right here. All the way here. That will dolly out and that will be just fine. Now if you come up here, we're still in the same situation. We got a nice smooth trans transition there, and I can lift up on this a little bit, and when I lift up on it, tighten that screw up, and we've got that a lot closer, but this is still going to have to be dolly. This here, we'll just pull out a little bit, so now we're good. This area here will go back, so this is what I'll do. Right here, and... back down, see how our line is going to be. So this needs to come out just a little bit. So, what we'll do, we'll go here, pull this out a little bit. Why did it do it when it looks so hard? No, no. this is here. <clears throat> oh, it's because there's a mm -hmm. wrench there. <laughs> so, Try it again. There we go. So now we got a nice body line. This one here, I'm going to have to loosen the hood hinge a little bit. There's two bolts here, and I'll just be able to slide that a little bit this way and get a good gap here. This gap here is nice and consistent. And this hood has been like this. It's kind of warped. So we're going to see if we can bend it, see if we can do something to get it to kind of, you know, tweak out a little bit. It's an aftermarket hood, and that's just the way they are. So uh, same thing here. I mean, so for the most part, that's it.